Welcome. This is uh, lesson 3.5. And in this lesson, we are going to cover the head studio. And uh, to do that, let me go ahead and go to our perspective view here. I want to show you something very interesting. Notice, notice that the head studio, when we go ahead and click on that, it's going to ask us to select uh, the stone or stones. And in this case, I'm just going to click this one for now. Select. Notice that we have the first configuration. And I can go ahead and say now, OK, I'm happy with that. I don't want to change anything. I just want it in all the three stones. If I click all, notice that it applies it. But notice that it doesn't just throw it the same way. It looks at the type of stone you have there, and it builds the correct type of head for it. Notice that the, the prongs are here on the corners, not on the middle here, like here. And here on the sides of the heart and the centers of the heart, making it very convenient, very easy to work uh, with, the, with the builder, you know, with the studio, create very accurate vessel. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not vessels, but uh, heads. Uh, now, let me go ahead and click cancel. I'm going to get rid of these stones here so that we can work, you know, very easily. Uh, and Pay close attention to all the all the functions and parameters, and it's all very simple, guys. We click here, we select our stone, there it is, and now we begin to play with all the options, and it's all it's all very very clear here. Top diameter, gem, select, and bottom diameter. This is basically telling you the top diameter, the bottom diameter, and in the middle. So if you change that. Notice, notice what's going to happen right now. It's 0 0.65, 0 0.65, 0 0.65. If I change it, it all changes together, doesn't it? Very convenient, but also maybe you want to change that. Maybe you want them small at the bottom, big at the top, or small at the top and big at the bottom. Up to you. You can unlock that, and now you can change the top and bottom differently. So it's up to you how you want to configure your prongs for the for the heads. You know, maybe you want to you know do some some interesting i don't know change it you know it doesn't really matter just remember that you can do whatever necessary now let me let me get back over here so let me zoom to this uh stone there we can more easily see now what's happening there it is now uh gem inside notice notice that it's 50 percent of the stone is inside the prong you can change that so you can make them go farther in or farther out. It's up to you how you set them up. Now we can also change, you know, their roundness, in or out, in in the middle, or out, or in or out. You can change their angle, you can change their thickness, and you can change their percentage into the stone. And then the height and the depth below the stone. You can change all these options in this particular panel here. Now, if we jump to the next one, here we can change the type of prongs we want and whether we want more than just four. Maybe we want five, maybe we want six, depending on the type of stone we have. It might be a very large stone and we want a lot of little prongs. Or maybe say, you know, large stone, but we want big four big prongs or three big prongs or you can configure it however you want so here we can change the round top or flat top the number of prongs you know moving on to the next one very easy this is the top ring the ring on top we can define its height its width move it up you know wherever we want lower higher wherever you want it within your the head uh, rotation scale you know and the height for him there we go you can make it elliptical if you want you know uh, if you want it rectangular there and then you can go ahead and give it some rotation as you can see it's all changing completely so I'll go ahead and put it back to zero rotation, put it back to round. There we go. Next, the bottom rail, same thing. The bottom round over here, we can choose whatever we want. 
no, no, any any configuration we want. Then we can go over here and we can choose if we need to move our uh, prongs uh, into different uh, sections. Let me show you. Let's look at this a little bit from here. And we got number one is selected. Let's see, we can move them closer together or farther apart. So it's up to you to place it to where you want it. Maybe you want two prongs close together and two prongs cross together. Depends on how you want to configure it. You know. And finally, we're able to go back over here and save it if we want, which is very convenient. You know, remember, just like the vessels, we can save all these configurations here and use them over and over and over again without having to go through all these options again. You know, once you're happy with, with the head, you can go ahead and click OK. And there's our nice little head for this stone. And if I decide I want to change the stone, once again, remember how this all works. So if I go to the stone, click Edit, and decide that I no longer want a round stone, maybe, maybe uh, let's say that I choose a princess. Let's find our princess cut down here. There it is. And I go down here to update. There we go. Now we have the same thing we had before, but for a princess cut stone. If I decide, nah, I'm going to change that again. I don't want the princess. Maybe I want, uh, uh, let's go up. Uh, let's pick uh, this guy here. Update. There we go. So as you can see, it's very easy to work with the builders and it's very easy to then edit and configure it to whatever stone uh, or project you're working with.